Welcome back everybody, Todd Huey here with Lone Star Boars and Huey Outdoors and this is loadout video number three. If you have not been watching, what we do is I'm going to tell you right now what I'm going to shoot. We're going to go to the hunting footage and then at the end I'm going to tell you how it all performed, what I liked, what I didn't like, what was really good, what sucked. So in this video we're going to be using the Silver State Armory 110 grain 6.8 ammo and then we're going to use the LWRC Razorback 2 with the Envision Halo LR 50mm thermal weapon sight and from Silencer Shop a Bowers Verse 30T suppressor. So here we go into the hunting footage. Again, if you want to see what I think about everything we use, watch all the way to the end and we'll go over all that. Behind the ear. That was a hell of a thought. Uh oh. I hate these fucking bullets, man. God almighty, all those were hits.
right, here we go. I think you're going to know what I'm going to say if you watch the, the hunting footage, but here we go. I think using this ammo was a great disservice to this rifle, to this optic, and to the 6.8 SPC in a whole. Um, I hope that I don't give people that don't know anything about this caliber or this rifle a bad idea after watching that video because this was 110% the ammo's fault. It's kind of like that ex-girlfriend that shows up. Um, she's shiny. She's easy. You know that there's a reason she's an ex, but you go ahead and do it anyways. That's what this is all about. When I, a little short story here, when I first started using the 6.8, I went from 308 to 6.8, and I used basically these bullets to start with. I almost stopped using the 6.8 because of 110 grain soft points they may work great on deer they may work they're accurate they do a lot of things but on hogs as we saw in the video we just watched they're they're highly underperformers the, the lwrc 68 uh razorback or a5 are excellent weapons uh mine i mean i don't know if you can see in the video i never clean it it is super super dirty and it always works if the ammo is good the Envision Halo 50mm, absolute best thermal weapon sight on the market right now, on the commercial market. Good field of view, great magnification, excellent image, absolute best thermal weapon sight on the market right now. The only time you would choose something else is if you were hunting real thick cover and your average shots are well within 50 yards. Other than that, this is the absolute best thermal weapon sight on the market right now. The uh, Bowers Verse 30T worked, performed flawlessly. It, it sounds good. These are available at Silencer Shop. Um, it, it sounded it really, really good. It's a 30 caliber can, of course, on the 6.8. Had no issues there, no issues with any of that. So the entire package worked good, minus the ammo. Now, again, this is not a bonded. This is just 110 grain soft point didn't recover too many animals. The ones that I did recover didn't have exit holes for the most part. Um, I believe the bullets breaking up on the shoulders and different things. Um, they claim, let's see what they say, has a muzzle velocity of 2,700 feet per second and 1,780 foot pounds. Man, I just don't know. Um, one of those groups I hit, I counted eight for sure. We recovered four. The next group that ran up the hill were the coyote. I hit every single one of those pigs running up the hill, expecting them to expire. And then I shot a bunch up on top of the hill, recovered four. Only recovered four. Um, then I did, in the time, and you probably noticed it in one of the videos, I had two fail to fires. They weren't the weapon's fault. It loaded in the chamber. Fell to fires, uh, solid primer strikes, but no ignition. And then I had one, which is not on the video because I was cussing so much, um, that got stuck in the chamber and I had to use a, a brass rod to knock the brass out of the chamber. So I don't know. We went less than 200 rounds on this because I was so frustrated. Maybe great on deer, maybe great on coyotes or something like that, but I cannot recommend this ammo for hogs, it just doesn't perform. Why did I buy it? Because I was going to get brass to reload, and these were on sale at Christmas. It cost me less to buy loaded ammo than it would to have bought the brass alone. So it was a no-brainer, and I knew. I knew that these would probably fail for what I do. Yeah, there's a couple where I took a headshot, and they, and they dropped, but they're just not performing at range or on running targets. Again, we're shooting a tough target. Not all bullets perform. Not all bullets are made to do that. These are definitely not. Maybe great on deer, not great on hogs. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I apologize that these are taking so long to get out, but sometimes, you know, because of certain reasons, some of these take longer than others. Uh, thank you for watching. Please be sure to share because uh, YouTube doesn't share these. And if, if you like it and you have any questions or any suggestions for upcoming videos, comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.